Hey everyone, it's time for a new video series that we're starting here on, on the Chess Club channel. It's an opening series where each week I'm going to make five very short videos, five to seven minutes, I hope. And each week the videos will cover one opening. So this week we're covering the Karo Khan and each video in the series will cover a different variation. So the name of this series is the Karo Khan and this video is called uh, the Two Knights Variation. And I'm not doing it for one side or the other. I'm just giving a general overview. I'm not saying, oh, white wins and black wins. I'm just showing it from everybody's perspective. And I think the general audience for this video series is beginner to like you know, 1,400, 1,500, you know, like 98% of people. Okay, so the Carol Khan starts e4, c6. Um, and in this position, white usually plays d4. That'll be covered in another video. c4 is also possible, but you know, pretty rare happens. And we're going to talk about the two knights, which is white bringing out his two knights. And you can do it in either order. I don't even have any clue why one order would be better than the other. But okay, we'll play knight f3, and then we'll play knight c3. Now, you could argue knight c3 is better. And when I say better, I mean before knight f3, because in this position, if you play knight c3 and they play d5, you could transpose into main variations by playing d4. And they might not know which one you're going to do. So there's some psychology. Uh, if you play knight f3, you can't play d4 here because your pawn's hanging. So you're going to play knight c3. I don't know. Um, that's up for you to decide whether one's more accurate than the other. Okay. Now, the point of the two knights, as opposed to white playing d4 early, is if black doesn't know the two knights and decides he's going to play the same variation that he plays against the regular Carol Khan, which maybe takes, takes, bishop f5, and if white's pawn was on d4 and white's knight was on g1, which we'll see in later videos, this is the one of the main variations, if not the main variation. However, since the white knight's already out, this is considered very poor for black because we play h4, and after h6, we can play knight e5. You can't play knight e5 when the knight's on g1, but bishop h7, now you can threaten checkmate, I'm not sure which is more accurate. I, bishop c4 or queen h5. Um, I think it's actually queen h5. Yeah, because I'll show you why. After bishop c4, e6, queen h5, we can defend the pawn with the queen. And if you defend the pawn with the queen here, then bishop c4 is winning. So you have to play g6. Yuck. And you could play queen f3 here, or you could play bishop c4, threatening checkmate. So black plays here. Now you threaten checkmate again. And this looks awful for black. This bishop is trapped. White has almost all of his pieces out. And this is, this is just complete, this is completely awful. Um, so here, white's already at least plus one, plus 1 1.5, according to an engine. So horrible. All right, so when, when you have white in the Carol Khan and you play the two knights, your opponent has to know the two knights. They can't be like, oh, I don't know that. I'll just play some normal. Okay, so the main move for black is bishop to g4 because you can play bishop g4 now, and if the knight's on g1, you can't play that. So you're taking advantage of knight f3. And here white plays bishop e2 or h3. They're about equally common. Um, I don't recommend for black going here because white can get an attack. I'll show you quickly. He can take, play g4, play knight e5. Then he wants to play bishop b5 check, which would be winning if it was white's move, or h4, h5 trapping the bishop. This is difficult to play for black. Some GMs do it. Um, I think it's easier for black to take this. Queen takes. And this is like the starting position for grandmasters and the two knights, black either plays e6 or knight f6. Black is very solid. If black plays e6, it's okay because his bishop isn't getting trapped because he traded it off. 
So trading off your white squared bishop and putting all your pawns on white squares is excellent. And white has the two bishops, but you know, white hasn't, you know, gotten his pieces out yet. You could argue white's queen is good there. You could argue it's bad to move your queen out because it can get harassed. And theory says white's a tiny bit better, but this is the main starting position of the two knights. And if you have the black pieces and play the Carol Khan, you've never seen the two knights, you can get in trouble. That's why trading off a piece, getting a solid position and not falling into any traps is good. Okay, this is Grandmaster Ben Feingold. I hope you enjoyed our, our first video series on the Carol Khan. And we're gonna have five videos a week on each opening. The next video won't be on the two nights. It'll be on another variation of the Carol Khan. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.